All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Bad Talk Show. So as you can tell, this is the Valentine's Day edition, man, and it's coming to you from two single dudes. So you already know it's going to be the best advice possible, but now for real, hopefully y'all are enjoying your Valentine's Day. This is coming out the day after, but what we're going to talk about is how to be successful as a couple and how you can grow your wealth together, man. So we got some amazing tips for you guys. It's going to be short, sweet, and to the point. But Rel, let's kick it off. What you got for him? All right. So the first thing I want couples to do is to budget together for your dates. It's very important that you budget together for your dates because dates can be expensive. Like sometimes I don't even want to take a girl out if she don't feel, if she don't feel worth it because it's like... Bro, I'm about to just drop a bag on who I'm probably not even gonna talk to you again after today. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you're with somebody, you guys are obviously committed to each other, but you're trying to build wealth together, you gotta set a budget for them dates because you need that money to invest. You need that money to pay off debts, right? That's a fact. And one of the cool parts about budgeting, y'all, is this. I understand that y'all want to have fun together, right? I understand that you guys still want to go on, obviously, dates. So cool thing you guys could do is when you guys have this budget, a nice thing to implement would be an amount that you want to actually put towards whatever dates, whatever events you want to go to per month. So for example, if y'all want to go on some nice dinner, let's just say, you know, we're not spending more than $200 on that nice dinner, right? And the other three weeks that you have left in the month, what you have to do is go on an event, you guys can cook together, you guys can hang out together, and whatever it is, you know you're not spending more than a particular amount per month per person. So that's gonna carry out for the entire year, and you know you're still having fun and still building wealth together because you're saving money in that sense. Now let's move on to the next one, right? What you got? So the next one I would say is to plan for your trips. So it's kind of like all within the budgeting realm. As you notice, so far we're opening up with, with budgeting because you got to make sure you know where your money is going. So obviously we budget everything, but you got to also budget for vacations, just like we talked about budgeting for dates. So what you could do is let's say you guys have a fund where it's like, okay, this is our vacation fund and you guys are both allocating maybe $100 a week into it. So, you know, in four weeks, that's $400 each that y'all put in. Right? That's $800 a month right there, you know? do that for three months, that's $2,400. You guys now have $2,400 you could put together to have a little vacation. Nooski, you ever been on a vacation before, bro? You know what's crazy? I actually have. I actually sure? have. Yeah, I actually have. I think he was expecting me to say no, but I actually have. But, and it's cool. It's I, I recommend everyone go on a vacation. I will say though, we didn't spend over like $2,500. So you can still enjoy yourself in the $100 per week if you guys put that together. So you'll be good to go. And something cool I do want to add to this realm is that if you guys are doing this whole budget thing and putting money in every single week, just keep in mind, if you guys go on two trips, right, for the first two quarters, you guys have the other six months left in the year. You guys might decide that, yo, let's not go on a weekend trip. Maybe let's go out of the country. And you guys have more money that way to save up and actually reward yourself at the end of the year where you guys could go out. You don't have to spend money on necessarily gifts and going above and beyond and spending $2,000. The goal here is to grow well so you guys can enjoy your life, right? So I think that covers the whole dating aspect, unless I'm missing something. But let's move on to the accountability. This is where you really can make your money. But before we get into that, please make sure you like this video because Rel and I are taking our time out, out of our day, out of our Valentine's Day to make videos for y'all, man. So you already see the pink backgrounds. You see us smiling. You know we're handsome. If you like us, drop that like. But let's get into the accountability. Most definitely. So for accountability, man, what you guys could do is hold each other accountable on allocating towards your Roth IRAs. Roth IRA is a great way to build wealth. Arguably, my favorite way to build wealth is the Roth IRA. And so if you guys are both making sure that you're set in that realm, you have nothing to worry about by the time y'all retire. Nothing to worry about. Make sure you guys are holding each other accountable or maxing it out. The worst thing to do is to be the only one sacrificing in your relationship because yes when you get your paychecks and you have some extras left over it's very easy to be like man i just want to go on a, a vacation or i want to just you know mm -hmm. go to the club and spend it on bottles and this and that but yep. if you're the only one that's making sacrifices while your, your spouse is able to do that or your girlfriend or boyfriend that that's not even fair that's literally not even fair that right? gratification. Yeah, that instant gratification, it ain't it ain't that ain't it, bro. Because it's instant gratification for a lifelong 
<laughs> of misery, right? That's so, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, about, it's all about choices. Make sure y'all are holding each other accountable on that. Um, and what else can they hold each other accountable on, bro? So to continue with that retirement theme, I would add on the 401k sense, right? So this one is a little different. So obviously, we know there's a 401k, we know there's a 403b if you're a governmental employee, but no matter what, if your employer gives you the ability to match, right? So that means if you're putting down 5% of your salary, they will match 5% of your salary. Whatever your employer is matching, we need you and your partner to actually put that amount in. You're giving a free money if you're not doing this, right? We want to take advantage of all the free money out there. So that way, what Rel said, if you combine the most basic thing, if you combine what Rel just said with the IRA, you combine what I just said with the IRA, you're gonna have a beautiful heart full of love because it's Valentine's Day and you will retire a millionaire with your significant other and be on that beach chilling with no worries man so let's get that retirement out the way let's talk about something else bro what you got for him so so yeah next i would say also just investing individually so outside of retirement like y'all both should have an investment account where y'all are, are investing in stocks for for like for a fact it's not even don't even debate it you both need to be investing in stocks and maybe even different stocks right so it's like if somebody's portfolio is not doing so hot maybe the other person is so mm -hmm. If you guys especially are planning to be together forever you could diversify amongst each other you have more of the aggressive portfolio while your partner has maybe more of a safer portfolio and that's that's a cool way to do it you guys offset each other and because you're building wealth as a unit at the end of the day and throw ideas to each other as well um so i would say that also i want you guys to live below your means in general so outside of investing please live below your means as a couple because it, it might be you know a little bit tough now but you guys are gonna really thank each other later on when it pays off when you have a lot more money maybe at this point you might have kids involved and you know you're kind of in a different stage in life where you want to splurge but people splurge now to like i said be in misery later so make sure that you guys are living below your means right now yeah. which also includes things like paying off debts as well and one more thing i want to say on accountability real quick i would just also add on is maybe do like a mini book club as a couple. You know what I mean? Literally like read books together, develop each other's mind. That's a way to build wealth. Like there's a lot of gems in books. You'd be very surprised. Listen to podcasts together. Like listen to the Bag Talk show together. You gonna learn a lot over here. So again, if you die, make sure y'all both subscribe to the channel right now. Press that button and turn notifications on as a couple. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you want to make sure y'all on the same time. And so when you say something like, Oh, no, nah, I'm not going to invest right now because the inflation report was crazy, you know, and I want to I want to wait till it pulls back. Then I'll buy it low. Your partner's not looking at you crazy. Your partner understands it, too, because y'all both developed each other's mind financially. It's, it's less less arguments right yeah. there. No, that's a fact. I agree. And listen, y'all, like we understand that people have their budgets. Obviously, people don't make five hundred thousand dollars. Some people make fifty thousand dollars, whatever it may be. So we're not telling you to max out your Roth IRA, max out your 401k, put seven hundred dollars a month into your investment. Do what makes sense. Even if you're investing a little bit, you're still investing and you're still moving forward. And when you guys notice that you do this together, it only makes things that much more fun, that much more valuable and you enjoy the process. Now that we got the investing side out the way, something else I want to talk about is actually starting a business together. This is something that many people don't necessarily do, but I always encourage whoever I'm talking to at the point or at this point or at this moment, whatever it may be, that I'm always like, yo, what is your passion, right? Get to know your partner's passion, get to know what she or he really enjoys, get to understand them on a different level. Now, when you understand their passion and you voice your passion, what's going to end up happening is that you guys can have conversations of, OK, cool. Like you really like music. You really like to get into remixing of songs. I really like business. So how can I help you pursue your passion and how can you help me pursue my passion? And before you know it, you guys might create an amazing business idea that you guys could thrive off of together. And that allows you to build wealth because there's no better feeling in the world than coming home to your girl or, you know, coming home to your man's, whatever it may be, and just enjoying peace, knowing that, yo, I really made them better today and vice versa. So that's a great tip for you guys if you are looking to build wealth together. And Rel, I know you want to talk about homes and the whole real estate part thing. So get into that. 
Yeah. So, you know, even when it comes to debt, right, you want to make sure you keep your debts low. So I talked about in the accountability side, make sure you guys are holding each other accountable on paying off your debts. But that also plays in real estate, too, because it could actually affect your home buying process. If you have a partner that has too much debt, it's going to start to affect the type of loans that you could get. It actually worsens your terms or the type of interest rates that you could get. So you want to make sure that they're not coming into this process with too much debt. And if they are, they need to be paying it down because they can literally hold you back. So make sure that's the thing. Also, you could apply for mortgages or apply for loans rather separately because if you have too much debt on, on your head, then it actually affects you being able to get qualified for other loans. But mm -hmm. let's say I had... Uh, a house to myself quote unquote even though we're still a couple i have a house to myself you also have a house to yourself right now we can start building a real estate empire so you could apply for loans separately instead of always doing things jointly because it allows you to leverage and get more homes as a unit if you guys are doing things separately even though in your head you know it's together so that's that's something that uh like people really should like look into doing that's a strategy that a lot of couples have taken that's built wealth together um so that's kind of even a low side the business thing because owning a real estate empire is a business in itself as well so that's why i like that you said that i was going to bring that up as well like entrepreneurship um i would say on the entrepreneurship side though if you guys have a business together make sure you have things in writing because as we know couples fail sometimes right so you want to make sure that i know y'all love each other everything seems sweet now make sure your paperwork is right just in case like just in case we talked about prenups on the other episode i go get into prenups today but on a business sense have things in writing so that everything is worked out that's all yeah so i think that that's uh definitely something you could talk about and if you guys haven't heard that episode make sure you check it out we'll put that in the thumbnail at the bottom of this episode so if you're still watching we appreciate you we really just wanted to make a quick episode about what you could do to grow wealth as a couple hopefully you like this hopefully you got some tips if you did comment below and let us know what you think make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel plus that little notification bell because we drop two videos a week and you don't want to miss them we appreciate you make sure you enjoy your day with your significant other and catch us on monday until then peace peace soundstripe